Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Sunday night which means it's trad beer night. The beer we're going for tonight is a new one from Badger. It is a uh, coffee stout. It's this one. It is Master Stout. And Master Stout is a 5% ABV coffee stout. Uh, describes itself as rich and sweet with notes of toffee. And it is, by all accounts, from uh, Mr Paul Pickering, one of the best stouts ever made. Uh, he's a big fan, he's had quite a few, and he recommended it to me highly. Uh, so yeah, here we are tonight. Took a little bit of tracking down across uh, two different branches of Sainsbury's, because that's where I got it, uh, in Stoke-on-Trent. And it also says on the back of the bottle that uh, the tale of the master stoat. A stickler for detail with a discerning palate. Turns out the surly stoat has a surprising sweet tooth. Never happy to settle for second best, he prefers to brew his own thing. We have that in common. Rich and dark with notes of toffee, the recipe for this indulgent coffee stout is one of our most closely guarded secrets. Best keep it for yourself. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Sounds tasty. I love a good coffee stout. Let's see how good it is. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we think. So. Pouring into my Father's Day glass as always. The pour is Toasty roasty. Get the colour on that. Let's see if we can get a bit of head. I'm not going to go mental. That will do. Encourage a larger head than I ordinarily would, but look at that. Dark roasty. The aroma coming off the bottle and the pour is incredible. Um, huge, huge, huge coffee aromas. I don't even need to get close to it. It's a lovely roast. like a tiramisu, it's wonderful. Big, strong coffee, hints of chocolate. It's huge on the coffee. There's a creaminess coming through. It smells absolutely amazing, and Paul said I would. Uh, he's right, it's a wonderful smelling stout. You got it spot on, mate. Um, Yeah, it's like dessert in a glass. Coffee, chocolate, creamy vanilla. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So, looks good, smells great. Let's have a taste. Cheers. That's pretty special. That is pretty damn special. Body is just slightly lighter than medium. Carbonation is quite prominent and it is excitable, it's smooth, its flavours are great. You've got lovely sweet chocolate and cream, like a creamy vanilla flavour. Then you've got the coffee and the roasted malts are subtle but they sit behind it all and just stabilise it. And the bitterness from the roasted malts comes through just a little bit later. It's sweet up front, bitter later. It's balanced. It's a bit of a journey from sweet across to the, uh, the more bitter side. Mmm. The finish. Like I say, it's all where the bitterness is. The roasted malts come through. That coffee. It's not a strong coffee in terms of strength of the coffee that's a weird thing to say but the coffee is balanced in the flavor profile it sits there just brings a little bit of something to that back end of an otherwise decent stout it just pushes it up a little bit oh yes mr pickering i can see why you love this one so we're going to go to the school board of joy on the povo pad uh, which tells me that there have been 175 check-ins for this relatively new beer, at an average score of 3.92. Nobody I know on Untapped has tried it, so it's got zero and zero there. But uh, Paul, get yourself on Untapped, mate. Um, I'm sure you'll give it a five out of five. So let me give it some points. But before we do, we have to pour some more. Let's top it off. Look at that lovely, lovely colour. Lovely bit of a, uh, a nice tan taupe head. Black as the ace of spades, just a hint of 
hint of mahogany coming through. Looks good, doesn't it? It's having a point. Aroma, I'm giving it a point and then I'm going to tell you. Big coffee, big chocolate, big creamy vanilla. It's wonderful. Body is, like I say, slightly lighter than medium. Good, excitable carbonation. It's good. It's good. It's having a point. I could have been stingy and given it a point seven five, but that's just because I love my stats, big, thick, and heavy. Um, but it's a five percent beer. I cannot argue. Uh, the uh, taste. It's wonderful. There's no way of describing it other than wonderful. Big coffee, big chocolate, creamy vanilla, and then the bitterness comes through towards the back end. It's lovely. It's having a point for both that and the finish uh, because there we go. So it's got a full five out of five. So it's decent. It's very decent. Mm. Does it get any bonus points though? Would I buy it again? Yeah, no question. Absolutely getting the buy again for that bonus. Value for money, it's about two quid in my local Sainsbury's. It's a little bit dearer than some beers have been of late, but I get it. Prices are having to go up. Uh, it's that or the recipe suffers. Um, personally, I would prefer to pay a little bit more to keep the good recipes going. That's my take on it. Uh, we'll cover that in another video. So yes, it's getting a value for money because it's damn tasty and two quid a bottle, 500 mil. Can't complain. Full bonus point though. Does it elevate itself above other 5% stouts of the coffee persuasion? It's really good. It's really, really good. I mean, it's going on my traditional beer of the year contender list for sure. Um, there's no two questions about that. But does it get the full bonus? Do you know what? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say it's got the full bonus as well. Uh, purely because it's damn tasty at a sensible price. If I'd have had this a couple of three years ago and compared it to other similar stouts, I might have had a slightly different view on it because my scoring was, whilst it was objective, it was less objective than it is now. Here we are, it's a damn fine beer. So yes, it's having the full bonus without a shadow of a doubt, um, because it's great, it's great. There's nothing really else now in the supermarkets at this kind of price point uh, with this kind of flavor. So yeah, it is one that Badger should be proud of. And Paul, I can see entirely why you love it. And if you haven't anyone else tried it yet, I suggest you do, uh, but just make sure you leave some out there for me and others to try as well, because it's damn fine. And on that note, we are going to say that has been the beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I will see you again soon for another one. Bye for now.